We're working on a 2003 Honda Civic four-door in blue with the 1.7 liter naturally aspirated motor. What we've got here is a missing the quarter window on the rear door. This is the rear right or passenger side. We've got a replacement window right here and we've got the old window there and all over the ground. Uh, this vehicle is broken into through the quarter window to unlock the door. Um, so we just got a generic replacement for this car off of eBay. This part was about $45. They range anywhere from $30 to about $70 depending on the condition of the glass. This one happened to come tinted um, but the rest of the car is not tinted so probably going to pull the tint off. So to start this process, you're going to want to uh, put the rear power window down, whichever side it is. We're going to work on the right side. Once it's down, come down here. Apologies. Once it's down, you then go in and remove the entire door panel. The door panel is affixed with a screw and two screws that hide behind the handle latch. They are under this little cover plate right here that has a little tab to pick it off right at the top. And there are the two black screws. Once you take those out, the handle cover will come off. You'll find this guy hooked up to the back of the handle with a plastic clip on it. That looks like that. That just swings off. You just clip it, click it off of the bar, and then pick it up off. And then it's just left like that. Once that's off, you come to the handle assembly. On this corner under here, you'll find a little hole and a clip inside of that hole. You want to push that in with a flathead screwdriver and pry this piece off. What I ended up having to do because this has been pushed and bent so many times um, it was kind of stuck. I took a very thin flathead screwdriver or trim tool and went along this edge here and pried it a little loose. Be careful as the bottom is a hook. It has to be pulled out last. So I loosened it here, it popped it here, and I was able to remove it and take it all out as one piece. Um, there will be a screw in here, and they screw at the bottom down there. Phillips head, all screws. Those two are the golden screws, and that is the plastic cover there. Then we come into the door after we lift it off, which it's just held in with the generic Honda push tabs all the way up and down. Um, one of them got really stuck and almost felt like another screw, but just need a little pop. Use a trim tool to pop the door free or a uh, decent flathead screwdriver. Be careful with flathead screwdrivers not to scratch any exposed paint or you will see those scratches and eventually they will rust. Um, usually you want to avoid scratching any paint, but if all you've got is a flathead screwdriver, that's what you got. Uh, once it's popped free, it just lifts up off of the door. It's a little trim piece will sit in here and you want to bend it back and lift it up off of there. Um, and then that'll be off. You'll come down, once you, when your window's down, through this hole, there's gonna be a bolt there. And through this hole, there's gonna be a bolt there. They are the little golden ones over there. After you've done that, you're gonna come to the track piece right here, which I have hanging right here. It has a bolt that mounts it here, a bolt that mounts it uh, here. You're gonna undo both those. There's a washer for this that dropped down to the door I'm gonna have to get out. And then at the very top of the door, so we're at the very top, under this uh, weather stripping, there's gonna be a screw hole right there. And it's gonna have a little silver Phillips in it. And it looks like this, very small little Phillips. That will allow you to undo this little hook. You're gonna to wanna to pull this forward on the door as you peel the window channel out of it and the door and try to be careful with it. The little ridges that hold it in can be ripped once, when it's usually an older vehicle. As you pull it back, you're gonna to want to get it disconnected like this. So there's a little bit sticking out of the bar and out of the door. Once you do that, you're going to pull it up out of the door and watch out for the hook on the bottom. It will most likely get caught right there. You need to wiggle it around the window. Be very careful with the window as in this state, it's not supported on one side now and can easily be pressed against things inside of the door possibly crack the glass, which in this case would explode the glass. So once that's out, the trim piece for the window will just come right out. There's no glue, there's no sealant on these quarter windows that are indoors. They just set right in with the rubber seal. That piece will just come right out. It's stuck under this little trim piece. You just lift it up and it comes right out. No need to pull this entire trim piece. You should be able to get it back in um, with just lifting one of the tabs because there are little, little clips right there that hold it in. Just lift up off of that one. Once it's out, 
Um, if there's any glass, usually there's gonna be glass if you're doing this replacement. You need to clean this entire tray area out. I just had to wipe mine out because I don't have a vacuum handy. But after everything's back together before the door panel, I am gonna have to vacuum out the bottom of the door to not get the shaky noise of glass all the time. Once that's out, you're gonna take your new window, you're gonna set it in, go in from the left side, or in this case on the right side, you're gonna come in from the left side. You're gonna slide it in to catch it under this track right here. And you're gonna keep this up and back and it's gonna catch the little metal edge of the window as this piece right here is a metal track. It's gonna catch that. You're gonna get it lined up, seated, clip this down, and then you're just gonna reverse install from this bar. Make sure when you put this in, your window channel is still in there when it goes down and hasn't moved. Once you get it down enough, you're gonna line these two pieces of channel back up and start sitting them back into the window, the window bracket and into the door bracket here. And then once you get it down there, you're gonna put your bolt back in the bottom. You're gonna make sure it's all nice and aligned up here and put the bolt in on the top. And then once it's set up on top, you're gonna to come put that silver screw back in. Uh, do verify that you've aligned the window into the channel correctly before you do anything past here. You're gonna to need to go turn the key, do the window operation. The window will not work without this switch hooked up. So you will need to plug that back into the door. Once you've verified the window still goes up and down as it's supposed to, um, you're going to basically reverse order everything else.